Mr. Mercury here and today's part 46 in the how to make a Skype tool series and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to implement a uh, quote faker into your Skype tool. Now the reason I have this off for so long because this is easily one of the most requested things that people ask me is because I didn't create this uh, quote faker and so I didn't want to make a video on something that I didn't create myself. Um, but I thought I'd get it over and done with and sh for the people that I need them to stop asking me. Um, I'll just show you how to port the project to your project from the old one. Now, there's a source code for the quote faker, it's here, and you've got to open it up in the old version of Visual Studio because that's what it was created in. Um, so this is it, this is the code, there isn't much. Um, and I'm just going to show you in this video how to uh, import this and put it in your new project. Um, so it's not much work to do, it's, but in this this video is just going to be pretty much copying stuff over. Um, so it isn't a full on tutorial, but people want to see it. So credit to this guy because this is where the source is from. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name, uh, but that is him. Um, so this is the code. He's using a data object and they're setting data to the object and then they're um, sending it through Skype. And obviously they've got all these options to use the custom times and update the time. That's not all necessary. You can just use the current time always if you really wanted. But if you want these options, they're in the source for you to use. Um, so yeah, we might as well go ahead and get started with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to basically copy this stuff. So I'm not sure if we can just go like this and copy it over into different versions of the program. I don't think we can, so I think we have to go ahead and create that. So let the properties load in. Actually, let me try once more. Yeah, we can actually copy, so that'll be that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just minimize that so we have a bit more room to work with. And we just got to uh, copy these buttons here. And we'll bring them over to. Like so. So we basically got the design of it already. Um, all we need to do now is go ahead and put the code in. So copy the clipboard. We just want to click that. We want to go to this project and see what they used. Um, obviously we might have to change and edit a few things so it's working with our project but you see what I mean. Um, because I'm not coding it all, I will leave it in the description for you obviously. Um, because obviously you, you don't want to sit and type all that out yourself, it's pretty lengthy. And then what else do they have? So on the form load, they're set in text box 1, which is this one, to now. So we'll go ahead and do that. To get to form load, you go to your design, just double click on the top. And they're set in what would be our text box 47. Text box 47 dot text is equal to now so they, they're doing that and they are also on timer tick so I'm assuming we need to go ahead and make a new timer so we'll go and do that and then inside the timer tick they're doing the exact same thing as form load textbox 47 dot text is equal to now and then what else are they doing so they're They've got the checkbox one changed, so we'll copy that and bring that over. Checkbox war four in this case. Except what we're going to do is that is not checkbox one, that is checkbox four. And also we want to enable timer ten, not timer one. And that should be that part of the code done. And what else do they have? They got radio button one. So we'll go and uh, copy that. Radio button two and one. Now I'm not sure if they went the other way around because I copied it. So let's check. Uh, right, so that that is right. So number one is the current time. So that code can go in there. And it's enabling text box one, which is our text box 47. Your case might be a different number text box, but it's the one with 
the time that's going to be locked and then we also need to just go ahead and do the last bit of code which is radio button 2 and I believe we just need to put text box 47 again and I think that is it. That is literally us just imported it into our project. That quick and simple. So we're going to go ahead and launch it up. Um, so there were build errors. Let's check what we got. So we got memory stream is not defined. More than likely, we just need to import something for that. Um, import system.io. So there we go. And now we've got encoding is not declared. So where is that? We just need to import system.text. And now we should be good to go. So let's launch that up. If your program doesn't actually let you import stuff like that, it's system.txt and system.io. So that's what you'll need to add to the top. And now that's loaded up, we've got our quote faker here. And you'll see that's today's date and the current time. I can press update current time. And you'll see the text box is uh, increasing to turn that off. Or we can use a custom time you see this is now enabled so let us use whatever or we can use the current time and update it so you see the project is fully working so we could just say um, test and then the message will be test quote now I'm not sure I'm even going to send that to anybody but you press copy to clipboard and we do have an error oh that's why we didn't change that so uh, because we want to change to text our time text box 47 and now that should be good to go let me just check actually because yeah there is one thing that would be changed we have the author here which I totally forgot to change the author is the name so that is text box 46 and then uh, the milliseconds which will be the time and I think text box 3 is the message it should be the message yes so that will be text box 45 in our case and let's just double check we not have anything else to change now that looks all good so that's all good so sorry I forgot to change that in the first place because I'm not actually creating it myself I will forget a few things so once that's loaded up, uh, I don't think I'll send it to anybody, uh, just because I don't want to be an annoyance. Test and test. Copy the clipboard. You could add a um, like a message box and copy the clipboard uh, if you really wanted. But when you paste it, that's how it looks. But when you paste it in Skype, uh, it looks totally different, and it has the message and the the text and stuff. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm sorry it's not like me coding, but it's just something that people wanted to see, so I thought I'd do it. Don't expect any more videos like this where I didn't create it. It's just a one-off. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And also, don't forget, the code will be in the description. And also go and say thank you to the creator of the Quote Faker, if you could. That would be nice of you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.